Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I wanted to give you a quick peek at Voyager relationships. So Voyager 1.0 is soon to be released and the Voyager relationships, the way that you handle relationships between tables, got a new facelift and a, just a different way of doing it. So I want to give you a quick look at how you can create relationships in Voyager. So I did go ahead and create a new app and I'm going to go to my posts right now and then I'm just going to click on edit. And I've changed a few things around just to show you this demo. So let's say that we go here to our category. We actually don't even have like a category dropdown. Maybe we could add category one, two, or we could add author one, two, but we don't like to do things that way. We want to offer a dropdown and the user can then select a category or an author. So using the new relationships, we can easily set this up. So if I go to my tools in my database, I can then scroll down to posts and I can say that I want to edit this bread. And then I can scroll down and if we go to the very bottom, I will have a new button here that's called create a relationship. So I want to create a relationship and let's say that the post belongs to, we can say a category. And let's go ahead and say that this namespace is going to be app category. And then I want to say which column from post is used to reference the category. This is going to be the category ID. And in the dropdown, I want to display the name and I want to store the category ID. So let's go ahead and click on add new relationship and you're gonna see that we get an error that says class app category does not exist. So if you do not have the model, it's not gonna allow you to create that relationship. So let's go back here and create that model. PHP artisan make model category. So now I do have a new model at app category and now I can create that relationship. So going back and scrolling down, create a new relationship. We can say the post belongs to a category. The namespace is app slash category. And the category ID is the field that we want to link the post in the category. We want to display the name and we want to store the ID. So after I've clicked on add new relationship, we then get a message that says successfully created new relationship. So then we can go down here and we can see that we have this new relationship and we can actually drag this up anywhere that we would like this to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and just store this where the category underscore ID field normally was. So let's see, that should be up here. So we have excerpt and category ID. So I'll put it right there. And as you can see, we can then specify if we want this to be in the browse, read, edit, add, or delete sections of the bread for the post. And then we can click over here to open relationship details and we can change any details about this relationship if we would like. So let me go ahead and scroll down and just save this. And now going back to my posts, I'm then going to click on edit a post. And now as you can see, instead of it just being a text box that we would add an ID, we actually now have a dropdown. So I could select category one or category two, and we now have this functionality because we created that relationship. So let's now go back and change this author to have the relationship as well. So going back, go to database and to posts and scroll all the way down to the bottom, create relationship and we want to say that a post belongs to a user. And this is going to be the namespace app slash user or whatever namespace that your user or author class is located at. And from which column from the post is used to reference the user, we will say that is going to be author underscore ID. And we could do, maybe we want to display the name or maybe the email address of the user. So let's go ahead and just display the name and add that relationship. And this is going to be added to the very bottom. So if we were to go to posts and then we go back to edit, now we have our category drop down. We scroll down to the bottom and now we have the users. So we have the user admin. We could then create a new user and that will show up under the drop down. So that is just a quick peek at adding relationships in Voyager. You can also add belongs to many, has one, or has many relationships from the dropdown. So you can create all of your relationships directly inside of Voyager. So this is going to be a really, really cool feature and addition to Voyager 1.0. So make sure to check out the project at github.com slash the control group slash Voyager.